Some restaurants in Lynchburg have had to close their doors but are keeping their kitchens open to feed those who need it the most. And 10 News reporter Magdala Lusant is live tonight. She's at the White Heart Cafe to tell us about a new initiative to help those families. Magdala? Well, John, tonight is the first food distribution for the Lynchburg Community Kitchen. Behind me on this bar is guacamole, sour cream, and tortillas. The volunteers here are bagging the food, getting ready to send them off to families tonight. And if you haven't guessed already, it's Taco Tuesday. Earlier, I got a chance to get video of them preparing the guacamole. The food was, the food was donated by Liberty University's kitchen. The school had to give away $20,000 worth of food after a majority of its students didn't come back after spring break. Organizers tell me it's a collaborative effort with several downtown restaurants and local churches. The new initiative is looking to target three groups, low-income families, the homeless population, and the elderly. Our goal is to see this happen long or continue and sustain long beyond the coronavirus. Um, you know, the reality is that people in our community uh, are hungry and need food um, all the time. At 6 o'clock, I'll take you into one of those communities that are receiving hot meals tonight, and I'll tell you how you can get involved in helping this organization. Live in Lynchburg, I'm Magdala Lusant, 10 News, working for you.